representative of a big number that's going to be going for the Olympics. Currently, the teams that we have here, we have the para-athletes, we have the athletics team, and the rugby team. On 26, uh, on 26 July 2024, the world will be, will be witnessing a historic and spectacular opening ceremony of the 33rd Olympiad along River Seine in Paris, the first time the Olympic Games will be opened outside of a stadium for the first time. I think this one is going to be one of the best that we have ever had. The National Olympic Committee of Kenya, from the onset, ambitioned a memorable Olympic experience for athletes in Paris, and we are very excited uh, to be on the home stretch towards that vision during these games in a few days' time, which is around the corner. Similarly, we see these athletes, uh, athletes uh, keep back by transferring to Kenyans back home an amazing inspiration and a sense of pride from their splendid performance as the games kick off in Paris. Your Excellencies, the National Olympic Committee of Kenya, which I'm privileged to lead and remains the most successful National Olympic Committee in Africa, with 113 Olympic medals is committed once again to deliver more medals for our country. Your Excellency, we are therefore delighted as a ministry to present to you 70 Olympic athletes and nine Paralympic athletes who have qualified for those two segments with the Olympics kicking off on 26th of this month and running until the 11th of August and thereafter the Paralympics program. I am delighted to report to you, Your Excellency, that this particular Olympics will witness an extended spread of disciplines and uh, President Taggart has indicated the six disciplines, athletics, rugby, swimming, fencing, judo, as the areas where we have qualified athletes. I'm also glad to report to you, Your Excellency, that this is the best prepared Kenya team to any Olympics in history. And government has invested in this team appropriately. We have invested in qualification and we have taken all federations to all qualification opportunities around the world. We have invested in training both here at home at Kasarani in Eldred for high altitude training. We have invested in a special training camp 
in Mahamas, in the south of France, in the Marseille region, which, is, which has been available for a whole year for Team Kenya to train. And I'm delighted to acknowledge the partnership between the government of Kenya and the government of France in that respect. And particularly, <laughs> the municipality of Mahamas. And Ambassador Suke, Asante Sana for that, uh, for that incredible show of friendship. Your Excellency, let me conclude by announcing here that in the spirit of the austerity measures that you have taken, there is no space, there is no room for joy riders in Paris. The beckoning Olympics in Paris is not a walk in the park. Every nation has prepared its athletes and will be representing and presenting the finest of them all at the Olympics. Today, I take tremendous joy in knowing that we too are sending not just the finest of Kenya, but that of the world. You are our gallant warriors to this sporting challenge and rest assured that the entire nation is behind you in every step of this noble assignment as you unleash your fullest potential at the global showpiece. And I, I have heard you say you will spare no effort. And uh, what uh, my dear sister representing the Paralympics said, that they will do their best. That is... That is all we ask. As you are aware, the government did not spare any effort to support your qualification pathway in line with our commitment to support the identification, nurture, and promotion of talents under our Talanta Hela initiative. We will continue this work with you until you come back with a harvest of medals and experiences from Paris when we shall monetize this with handsome rewards. And I want to promise you that I have given very clear and firm instructions to the ministry to make sure that the reward system represents the excellence that we have in our sportsmen and women, and also the allowances must keep in pace with the excellence that we see in our sportsmen men and women. It is very encouraging to know that we have some six sports disciplines qualified to represent the country in Paris. This is commendable and it goes to demonstrate that with more investment from the grassroots, technical and other support system, Kenya can have a rich portfolio of sports to send to the quadrennial uh, games. To them all, I assure that the government has taken cognizance and encouraged the same to continue beyond Paris 2024 Olympics as we also strengthen our reward system for such investments. Today, as I officially unveil the team, Team Kenya, that is, including the ceremonial kit, and also hand over to you our national flag, as I did shortly, may it be a symbol, an instrument, to motivate you to summon all you got to raise it high in Paris and make every Kenyan so proud and inspired to aim for the best in all our endeavors as we celebrate your success. I am very, very proud of the, the team that I see here. And I am particularly proud of the exercise we went into when I asked Ababu Namwamba that it is not fair for us to buy kits from all manner of places when we have Kenyan talent that can craft and curate an outfit that is truly Kenyan, designed by Kenyans, produced by Kenyans, and tailored by Kenyans. I am very proud that that we are doing this time around. And look at uh, the young people who have put this together. Can you stand again? You know? That is the kind of talent we have. And it is the reason, please take your seats. It is the reason why we have taken the position that 
we should not be importing what we can produce locally. I will continue to say this. We cannot possibly be importing um, kits, you know, the ones you guys are wearing, which can be made in Kenya. We cannot be importing eggs or potatoes or cement or furniture or diapers or bumpers that can be made in Kenya. We must make them in Kenya so that we can give Kenyans, like those young ones there, an opportunity to be designers and an opportunity to be um, uh, the people who produce them. That is how we are going to create a nation that has talent, that has opportunities, that creates jobs, and that creates wealth. Congratulations to the achievement that I see in this space. I will be watching keenly to see how that ceremonial dress designed by uh, uh, th those young uh, people there. Yeah, I will be watching to see the ceremony and I wish Kenyans can celebrate the young people who have put this together. We could not ask for more than expect your usual excellent role of being our premium ambassadors as you represent the brand Kenya fully and superbly. And I have no doubt in my mind that we will come back here to celebrate medals and to celebrate your excellence and success.